Hello again, and you join me in my shed. Last year, I think it was last year, or beginning of this year, I bought this uh, hot air gun uh, from Parkside from Lidl, and it came with this attachment, which is for igniting charcoal, um, for barbecues, that sort of thing. Well, I've got a, hot, um, a pizza oven, and it worked good for that. It did take a while to ignite, so I did use gel in the end, but I thought I'd show you the quick video of me making the pizzas and this in action. Just to say as well, the tins that I use to make the pizzas are about seven inch across, and so it like forms a, a deep pan pizza. And uh, I made my own dough, made my own sauce, and put the toppings on top. Went down really well. I used charcoal and uh, one log, probably about this big to make. I think it's probably about 15 pizzas, but I can get two pizzas in the oven at once. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd show you this video. And just to say, that pizza oven, I'm about to restore it. Well, it, I was tempted to scrap it actually, but I thought, no, I'll strip it down, I'll paint it, clean it up, and I may even mount it on a plinth in the garden and get rid of the metal stand. So anyway, here's the video. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy the hot weather in the UK and probably everywhere else in the world. It just seems to have gone wild for this heat. I think we're up to about 33 degrees at the minute. It's gonna get hotter on Tuesday. So anyway, here's the video, cheers. So I'm now in my bar kitchen shed. That Parkside hot air gun. I did a review on that a while back. If you're interested, I'll put a link below with the review I did. That it comes with a long reach lance on there for doing weeds down below. It's, it's a really good bit of kit. Like I say, it does work well enough to ignite the charcoal, but it does take a while. The pizzas themselves, if you're interested again, I used the around seven inch pan and uh, probably about an inch deep. And I prefer using them rather than, it, the oven itself came with a ceramic plate that goes in top and you put pieces on top of that. I, I wasn't getting on well with that. So I thought I'd rather use pans. 
line the pan with olive oil first uh, then use i use polenta because it gives it a nice crust around the outside of the, of the base the sauce i made up myself that was tin tomato uh, tomato puree basil leaves oregano small amount of sugar um, <laughs> some salt and pepper some olive oil blend it all together and then just smear it on top the cheese was cheddar and uh, grated mozzarella and then i do the buffalo mozzarella as well sliced up you put that on top as well if you want to and then any whatever topping you want on there like meatballs ham and tomato vegetable uh, chicken whatever so uh, yeah give it a try uh, you can do it in a normal oven as well of course <laughs> uh, funnily enough i've actually got this little oven here in, and i tried it out on that electric oven and it works well so in winter i may do pizzas from here as well again that pizza oven i probably had about three or four years i want to restore that it's it, it's quite a bit of rust on there it's been standing out for for the last three years and i use it when i want to but i'm either going to restore it well enough where it can sit outside um whatever paint i use or i'll put it away when i'm not using it especially when it's raining uh, so yeah video to come up on that if you're interested if you're new here please subscribe uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to watch my channel i've got a load of other videos on there as well so yeah that's about it take care cheers <laughs>